Hi everybody, it's Christine Bertram. I'm coming to you live from the hive on a Thursday for our normally scheduled classes that we have on Thursdays at 6 p.m. I'm a few minutes tardy because I printed off the list of people who shared for Mystery Card Night, who shared for the Share, Create, and Inspire card class and those who placed orders yesterday. So I was like, whew, I better print those off really quick so that we can do those drawings after class. Yay, hi Mary Lemke, hi Kathy Boggs, hi Sherry Everett. Excited to watch and you'll make your cards later. That's always a good thing to do. Hi Judy Sharp, hi Tanya Jackson, hi Shirley Malarkey from Snowstorm, North Dakota. So we're, we didn't have snow today, but we had some thunderstorms that were rolling in today. Hi Cindy Runtree. Um, it's all, yes, also Tanya is making the cards later. You know, that is the advice that I hear from people that take classes with me that they love to watch first and then they will catch the replay later or the tutorial later and actually make the cards afterwards. That always works. Hi, Rose Coleman. All right, who else? Hi, Sherry Martin. Hi, Susan Bellamy. Who else? Hi, Sherry Stewart. There's Sarah Mitchell. Yay. You don't even own a motorcycle and you're excited for class. That is awesome. So these cards were designed so that you did not have to own the stamp set. And so uh, it's all going to be great. Um, and I didn't uh, fussy cut or pre-die cut my motorcycle. So I will be in the same boat that you guys will be. Hi, Bonnie, Kevin. Hi, Laura Sullivan. Hi, Melody Miller and Jean Maxwell and Kathy Jackson from Iola, Wisconsin. Hi, Ann Bellinger. Whew. Hi, Randy Schultz. We are going to have a great class, you guys. I almost forgot to pull a set of these cards aside for myself. And so I was very happy. Actually, I had a couple people that had canceled on me yesterday for class. And I was okay with that because I forgot to save a set for myself to put together with you tonight. Otherwise, I would have been cutting and prepping really like a mad woman, I think. <laughs> so everything usually works out the way it's supposed to. And so very happy for that. Um, we'll do roll call here in a moment. Uh, I like to go over things so that you guys help me remember so I don't forget to do them later. I have some happy mail that I want to share with you guys. I feel like I'm sitting really low. So let's bring this up. <laughs> there, that's better. <laughs> I felt like it wasn't a, like a little kid seat here. <laughs> um, it feels like somebody else sat in this chair last and I don't know, who, <laughs> you know, like the baby bear, and mama bear and papa bear, like who is sitting in my bed chair? Like who is laying in my bed? I felt like somebody else was sitting in my chair, <laughs> which is okay because I know Kelly comes in here every now and then and does stuff, but I don't think she's been in here recently. But we're also going to do the drawing, you guys, for, I said, Mystery Card Night, Share, Create, and Inspire. And you guys don't laugh at me, but I, I printed them on my label sheet accidentally. I was in the process of trying to print the May birthday card labels for those people who have birthdays in May. And it wasn't working. And I guess I forgot that I left my label maker sheet in there, my label sheet in there. And so I printed on my label sheet. Hi, Sandy Wicklander. So we'll do that later. I've thrown those three drawings. Plus I have the door prize drawing for tonight for somebody who um, placed an order to get the class for free. Um, what else you guys? Free shipping day was a good day yesterday. I think that that threw people by surprise. <laughs> uh, Tigger pouncing. Yes. <laughs> he was sleeping. You guys, I left him sleeping in the house. I put food out for him. I made sure to tap the plate really good and he didn't stir. He was a little bit scaredy cat today. He's not used to the thunder and the rolling of the clouds. And so he was a little bit of uh, disheveled with that rolling this morning. And so he kind of got himself worked up. And so he was taking a big cat nap, I think, right beforehand. So um, first time watching. Yay, Kathy. Well, I hope that you enjoy. You love watching Rose. That's awesome. Yes, everybody that I talk to says that they love to watch Rose. And that is awesome. Rose is a great teacher. She is great at presenting and showing you and explaining things. So it's always fun to watch Rose. And I, I'm welcome to everybody that watches Rose that that is now watching me and vice versa, right? Uh, Rose and I have a great partnership with uh, collaboration with our two classes. We do the My Sweet Bundle class together and then her uh, Technique Club class. And so we, we piggyback off of each other to help people in Canada and the U.S. both get our classes, which is a, it's an awesome collaboration. So she just did the 
Technique Club class on Tuesday at 1.30 Central, so you guys can always watch the replay. I do have three sets of that class left in case anybody's interested. And then for the Sweet Bundle class, I do that tonight, and she has extra of this kit, this class left, you guys. Um, so if anybody is in the in Canada and looking for this class, please reach out to Rose. Her information is in this YouTube video. It's in the description. Hi, Karen Karste. Hi, Sharon Land. Hi, Donna Grushke. You never, oh, you just received the notice for class. Hi, Vonda. Yeah, sometimes it gets delayed, I think. Um, I love watching Rose and that's how I found you. Yay! And I think it's been work, working both ways for Rose and me that I lead people to her and she leads people to me because we can't sell across territories or across countries, right? So I have a, a bunch of people that watch me in Canada and she has a bunch of people that watch her in the U.S. And it's it's uh, we have a it's very fortunate we found each other at backstage back in August and now we can refer our customers from different countries to um, to watch the other one. Hi, Hildy. <laughs> she says, Rose is a sweetheart, just like me. Yay. We like that. Um, so what else? So free shipping was a good day. Hi, Jennifer Jones. Um, I did watch a quick video from Stampin' Up! that they put out a couple days ago because a lot of people were confused as to why they offered free shipping right after a massive influx of orders that came in on April 4th. So Stampin' Up! had their pre-order start on April 4th plus the last chance list became active on the 4th and the video that I watched uh, was three Stampin' Up! people that did a present like a little talk about well, what happened. <laughs> so apparently it was such a good deal with the last chance and there was so much with pre-order. They sold 20 times the amount of dollars and product SKU numbers that they do in a normal day, <laughs> okay? So think about that. You're running along doing a business and everything's hunky-dory and you think, okay, well, we've got this covered. We're gonna have a sale and we're gonna, we're gonna have our um, pre-order start on the same day and it might be a, like five times more, right? It was 20 times more and it just caught them by surprise and as soon as they saw what was happening, they hired temps and they have people from the admin, administrative offices coming in but it basically backlogged them up to 10 to 12 days. And so I know I have an order from the 4th that hasn't arrived yet or it was somewhere around there. Uh, they are, they're backed up that long. So just be patient, they ask. And uh, then they threw in a free shipping and people were like, why would they do that? <laughs> Hi, Annette from Melbourne, Australia. Hi, Renee Cook. And so they have that planned for, they planned their sales uh, or extra ad hoc promotions um, 12 to 24 months in advance. So they've had this in the works and everything has been planned and they decided to continue to go forward with it. And for, because they like for demonstrators to have a reason to reach out to customers on a regular basis, at least once a month. And so this was their, and their special that they wanted to give to demonstrators to be able to reach out to their friends, family, and customers to, to offer them the, you know, to share with them the promotion that they have of the free shipping. And it just, it just like kind of maybe more clogged the, the, the pipe, but in a good way, I guess, like who doesn't love free shipping, right? So I'm not going to complain about being able to get free shipping. Uh, I know that if I need my order here sooner rather than later, I pay a little bit more and expedite it. But most people don't necessarily need their products like tomorrow or the next day and they are able to wait. So it was really nice to get some free shipping. You guys, I bought a lot of white paper. If you want to know what I bought yesterday, <laughs> Oh, I have a DSP sampler that's coming up. For those of you, uh, I think I have 64 of you that are already signed up for my DSP sampler for the annual catalog, which is by far the largest number. Kelly prepared my sheets for me, and I think each one is 17 pages. So when I did the math yesterday, hi, Laura Sullivan, thumbs up. I got to remember to do the thumbs up too. When I did the math yesterday, I did 17 times 65 or 70 and divided that by 40 and it came up with about mm, just to be safe 28 packs of white paper just for my dsp sampler alone and so i doubled it and i i bought 60 packs of white paper yesterday you guys i just i go through white paper like 
it's no tomorrow, right? So I know half of it's already consumed in my DSP sampler, and then the other half, I, with all the card kits that are I've been doing, I go through white paper really fast. <laughs> so hi, Cheryl Thomas. So if you wanna know what I use my free shipping on, I bought white paper, and um, I bought myself two 12-month paper pumpkin subscriptions because the price of paper pumpkin is going up starting May, with the May subscriptions, right? So starting with the new catalog in May. So I thought, well, you know what? I'm gonna get for my account, uh, I got some 12 month paper pumpkin with free shipping. So yay. <laughs> so I don't know. I feel like I saved about $200 on shipping uh, and I'm okay with that. So, all right. So that was my good news on free shipping. And so from the free shipping, you guys, we had 15 people place orders to take advantage of the free shipping. And so I'm going to be picking out a stamp set out of the new annual catalog. Uh, and when I can order that on May 2nd, I will go ahead and get that ordered for the winner, which we will determine later. Yay. So, okay. All right. What else? I had a busy day today. I think if you watched my live on Wednesday, which was yesterday, <laughs> like it feels like two days ago already, but I did the Favored Flowers Stamp a Stack card class yesterday. It was four fun folds, you guys. They were fun. Uh, we kept class till a little over two hours to make four cards and cut all the designer series paper for all 14 cards. So I thought that was pretty good. Uh, I know that I move a little bit fast for people, but um, what happens is you can always go back and watch the replay. If you're new to watching me and you're not certain I said something or if you are not certain of how I did something, just know whenever the, the video is in YouTube, even when Rose does it, you can always go back and watch the replay. And then you can start it, stop it, pause it, do whatever you want. <laughs> Hi, Lindahl. Hi, Annette. I did the white cardstock and definitely not the same lap. <laughs> I only, only have six ladies to an in in-home place. <laughs> you know, I was talking to Diane Bogenhagen, who was here today too, and she said she bought five packs. <laughs> so, But she said that she chuckled to herself when I told her how many I bought and she said she wondered how many I was going to buy when she put her order in. <laughs> oh, and Sherry's been working on the cards today too. Awesome. So we, um, we had a great stamp a sack yesterday. The, I think I had about three or four people reach out to me to get the class and I still have about a half a dozen left, six or seven, maybe eight left if I, I have to do a final count. But if anybody's watching that video later and was like, oh man, I wish I would have got those, those card kits or that class. Uh, and you're in the U.S., definitely reach out to me because I would love to get that class in your hands because the, it, they were beautiful. I loved them. You'd have the tutorial then to make other uh, designs or other layouts. I should say other like patterns of paper and color schemes with those same cards. So it was very good. Oh, and Sherry's going to work on hers this weekend. Very, very good. Um, so Diane was here today, and we did what we said we were going to get done, you guys. I think yesterday I mentioned that we were going to finish off Let's Just Stamp. We were going to finish off, or we we're going to start and finish Ink, Paper, Scissors. And I was going to finish off the next stamp stack featuring the Favored Flowers products that we have. And it's a 3D box stamp stack. And I'm so excited because I literally finished everything <laughs> at about 20 to 6 so about 40 minutes ago or I should say 37 minutes ago and I took 10 minutes to put makeup on for you guys yay yay and um get something to eat give take her some food and get everything set up and I thought wow I did that in record time so I'm so excited you guys can tell I um I probably have a lot of energy because I like I can show you these cards I'm so excited because it's always fun showing off new cards to you guys it has been a little while um since we've got some designing in, and so it's gonna be fun to share this with you. So I bet you guys, if I have to take a vote, you're gonna want me to share these cards with you now versus at the end of class. And I think that I'm gonna make the executive decision for you that we'll do that, because then when we're done making the last card, if anybody needs to, to leave, they can do that versus waiting till the very end. Uh, this way you guys get to see everything, and I have some happy mail I wanna share with you as well. Um, so let's, I know you guys are excited. If you're, if I'm excited, you gotta be excited too, I think, right? So the, the Ink Paper Scissors features Fresh as a Daisy, which is a new suite in the annual catalog. They're not 100% done, and that's because we couldn't buy on the pre-order the Jute Ribbon. And Diane and I made the executive decision today that these cards would look fabulous with the Jute Ribbon. 
And so they're all put together, but they're held together by a mini glue dot here and a mini glue dot there and a dimensional here so that we can easily kind of pull them apart and then just add the ribbon. And so you're gonna have to visualize them with ribbon. We, we got the embellishments on, which is awesome. And then I'm gonna show you guys the Let's Just Stamp, which uh, is the class that Diane and I do. Well, so Diane and I are gonna start doing both of these classes together. We've already been doing Let's Just Stamp, but now she's picking up an in-person version for the ink, paper, scissors. So this is new with May, that if you're local to me and wanna do ink, paper, scissors in person, Diane's gonna be teaching it. And I'm so excited for that because it'll give those people that are local to me the opportunity to take that class in person. Um, you guys are all like, now please. <laughs> Hi, Karen Wettstein. Um, and so, yes. So let's just stamp. Um, it's featuring per, um, the Pansy Patch, which is a carryover stamp set. Um, and what we did is we paired it with new paper. Yay. Okay. So you guys are ready. Okay. Without further ado, we're, gonna, we're just going to share these cards with you. Um, I'm going to do let's just stamp first. Um, I didn't happen to bring Pansy Patch over here, but I will grab it. Um, so Let's Just Stamp is the class that Diane and I do together that is geared towards beginners, but everybody's welcome to take it. And what? why is it geared towards beginners? Because we try to keep it a little bit more simple without... Um, without die cutting in general and embossing. But you might ask, well, Pansy Patch... Um, that has dyes with it. And uh, can I use my dyes if I have it? It's like, absolutely. If you guys have the dyes, go for it. And I will have a little confession. Hi, Sandy from Snowy, Minnesota. A little confession is that when we did design these, we did use dyes. But uh, for those that are beginners and you don't have a die cutting machine, you could still fussy cut out your flowers. But I know for class in person, Diane's going to have her dyes there in case anybody doesn't want to do the um, fussy cutting but pansy patch is in the annual catalog now and it's carrying over but what we did is we pulled in um, berry burst which is a new color but it's a returning color so it's not really new um, to those who have been using Stampin' Up products for at least I think maybe five years is when uh, berry burst came out but so this is we, we had a lot of fun using that layering with the pansy so we kind of brought pansy patch back um, it has been a while. I did an ink, paper, scissors with Pansy Patch uh, in maybe May or June of 2020. <laughs> I know it's been a couple, two years probably. But so here we brought it in with Let's Just Stamp. So that's one card. So we've got our pink, Team Pink. We have our Team Purple. Yay! All right. And so we definitely featured the different sentiments from the set and tried to use all the different flowers. And this one is the thank you version. So there's Team Purple, and now we have Team Blue. So we've got our Starry Night. We pulled in the new designer paper that's from the Zany Zoo. You would never know it, but this is the zoo paper on the back. So you've got your lion roasting his marshmallow. You've got your pig with his little piggy back. <laughs> and so this is Starry Night mixed with um, black. So all the cards have like the underlying black theme with them, and then just picking in our pops of color. So you guys, just you know, this is Let's Just Stamp for May. Um, you can look at my calendar of events. I do have it updated now. Um, you probably won't see cards, right? But if you ever are wondering where to find stuff, you go to my events calendar and you would toggle to May. And you can see I've got on the 8th is Let's Just Stamp with me. And then on the 18th it is with Diane. So my events calendar is pretty much up to date. You can click on things, but if the cards aren't completed, you guys just know it always says cards under construction until they're ready and photographed. Okay. But this is, let's just stamp. I hope you like them guys. <laughs> oh, this last one was, um, this one took a little bit. We started off doing Mel and Mambo and then we completely switched it over to um, Berry Burst. So, all right, you guys like the pansy cards. Good, good, good. Thank you. All right. Now, let's share with you the Fresh as a Daisy is the name of the suite, and this is ink, paper, scissors, so this is the, pro so this one over here was you could pay for it or get it free with an order. This one you can only pay for. It is a product-based class, meaning it includes product, and the four cards, again, you guys, they aren't completely, I, I left them, I said, assembled, only hanging on by a thread. And so these are the four pansies. So we, we have these going on. 
these are basically the different color palettes of the new in colors, you guys. So the in color dots are what's gonna come as the product, in the product. The jute ribbon is going to get definitely added, like there's my jute ribbon around here with a bow. We've got this plan for the jute ribbon to go behind here. In the blue, this one's gonna have the pebble gray jute ribbon with a nice bow right here in the middle. And then this one's gonna have the mauve. And you guys, <laughs> this is how we put cards together with not really putting cards together. Everything's prepped and ready to go. And on May 2nd, we can order that jute ribbon <laughs> and uh, uh, get it here in two days so we can finish them. But that's the, the um, Moody Mauve. This is the new Lemon Lolly. This is the new Pebbled Gray. This is our Boho Blue with Copper Clay. And this is the Returning Bay Lost Lagoon got pulled in here. Hi, Corinne Bouvia. This is our Pretty Peacock that is returning, again, with Copper Clay. Got pulled in here. So Peacock and Copper Clay, you guys, they, they kind of go together. Uh, Stampin' Up! made it really easy to create because um, they put the colors in the designer paper that match together. And last but not least, we, <laughs> we pulled in Moody Mauve with Wild Wheat, I think is the color. Um, a lot of you may refer to it as baby poo or calf poo. Like if you grew up on a farm like I did, this was the color of calf poo. Um, I know the term last night was more of the S word because that's really what we would call it on the farm. It looks like calf that. Um, and so, um, yeah, but we think it went okay. So we've got the wild wheat mixed with the moody mob and it's got to work, you guys. <laughs> we had to use that color and we had to show you a card um, that it paired it together. I just lost my phone, but it's back. Okay, so that, you guys, is what we have planned for you for ink, paper, scissors for the month of May. There we go. Hi, Marsha. Love the daisies got mine and made one up. So in love with them. We are so away camping now so didn't get to bring them oh no as soon as you get back hi shelby dixon from virginia all right so you guys that's what we have for you for ink paper scissors for next month and i have one more class to show you guys um, again this one for those that are local is 30 for porch pickup or 30 in person with diane and otherwise it's 37 if you want it mailed to you so that one's that basis and then lastly, you guys, well, let's show you these. These were done already, and I've already shown these off, but just in case you haven't seen them yet, these are the May monthly class cards. And so it's the Sweet Citrus, Grassy Grove, and Nature's Prince paired with all of the new, like, kind of consumables, the designer paper and the different colors. And so that's the May monthly class. And that's already published. That's out there, you guys. And a <laughs> cap. <laughs> um, so... Now is the stamp stack and I've been showing you guys, I've been showing you these boxes naked for how long? Probably about three or four weeks. Enough that you guys, I have already, I think there's 20 or 23 people signed up and that's awesome. I think I'm planning for maybe 28 or 26, something like that. Um, but enough that there's already, okay, there's 20, there's 20 people signed up and they haven't even seen them finished which is awesome. You guys have a lot of faith in me. <laughs> so I, um, I want to share them with you actually for the first time. Here they are. My phone keeps um, fading out. I'm not exactly sure why, but we are going to keep it going. We're going to show you guys here what the boxes actually look like. And now the thing is, if anybody wants to get signed up now that they see them, you probably need to let me know in the next two days to potentially by Monday, because the class is actually May 1st. And we need to get the stuff in the mail on, on Wednesday at the absolute latest. And if I need to order any more of the ribbons um, or the gems or the envelopes for it, I need to get the order in on Monday so I can get two-day shipping and have it here Wednesday for shipping. So again, if you see these and you want them, just let me know right away so I can at least get you signed up for them. Um, and you can always work with me on the payment part. And also, if you've got other classes you're getting, we can consolidate shipping because this one is... You're going to get a full pack of the 12 by 12 designer series paper that is retired. And I have plenty of it, you guys. So don't worry about that. I have this plenty of this retired paper. All right. So you ready? Here are the boxes, you guys. Okay. So these are going to make great Mother's, make great mother's Day gifts or friend gifts, birthday gifts, 
thank you gifts for watching the house or the animals while you go on vacation. Um, and so what it is, is a stamp a stack and you're gonna make four boxes, right? So you're gonna have enough supplies to make four. And this is how I've decorated them and this is how I've got it, gonna have it set up for you guys um, to do this. And so Sarah, I'll bring my notebook out in a second and I'll try to remember to sign you up, but also follow up with a text or an email, that would be phenomenal. So I have it set up that you'll have two coral outsides and two purple outsides, and I've got my sides all decorated to match as well. And then I've got, you know, they're all decorated. You'll get um, the templates to make it. So I will have an Excel file um, that I'm gonna um, put in your PDF that has these templates that you can have the exact measurements and how to cut them. And as a group, we're gonna cut them. And then within each box, what you're gifting or creating is four sets of cards. Now again, like mothers think Mother's Day is coming up and you think, oh, I don't have a mother. Well, is your sister a mother? Is your sister-in-law a mother? Is your cousin a mother? Is a best friend a mother? Just because somebody isn't your actual mother, you can still give Mother's Day gifts to people in your life that are mothers, right? So think of that, like from that perspective. And within each one of these, then there's four of these little cards that, that you're gonna make and they're identical for the most part, right? So there's gonna be two of them that look like this, and there are two that are gonna look like this, and then there's matching envelopes. You'll get a whole pack of the three by three white envelopes that you're gonna put in here. I even decorated the edge of the box on the inside just to see what it looked like. I think I'm gonna put some DSP on the bottom in the inside too, just, and I might put DSP up here just to decorate that. I got a little bit carried away with the inside of this one and I wanted to see what it looks like, but I think it needs more. All right, so, and then on the inside, you guys, you'll get a little, there's a little white piece. Now, I am going to mentally prepare you guys for this class that you are going to be doing your own scoring and cutting of cardstock. That is not normal. For a class that you normally take with me, you normally have everything hand fed to you, or I should say that spoon given to you on a, on a silver spoon, uh, silver platter. That's the saying, right? You guys, I pretty much do everything. And in this one, I need to mentally prepare you that you will want to watch the video either. And I ran out of green ribbon, so I got to finish that little guy. But you're going to, you're going to want to watch the video for this one. Um, unless you're really good at following instructions on a tutorial, but then I'm going to say reference the video to see how to put the box together. So there's 16 mini cards, four boxes, there are envelopes to complete it, and you'll get the iridescent gems, the checkered ribbon, and um, the pack of paper. So the class is $50 or $63 mailed. So yay! Okay, you like them. <laughs> so I hope I hope Hildy loves them, yay. So yeah, I gotta finish. I'm gonna actually add, there's more designer paper left in the pack that you can definitely um, add some decoration on the inside. So, okay, we got them done, you guys. Yay to that, so excited. Very, very, very cool. All right, so you guys, this is mystery card. I don't wanna show you the front of it. I want to put it away for later, but just know that we got that one to share with you later on in the evening. Okay. So how was that, you guys? <laughs> Let's put you back up here, and I think I'm gonna do roll call. I uh, do, 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 okay. So, I was just checking here. Um, we're gonna do roll call, so I don't forget. And I have exciting news that I have four people that are watching from Canada that took this, or that are taking this class with Rose. And as a reminder, if you're in Canada and would like kits, Rose still has extra kits available. And so, all things may for me. Yes, Sandy Wickler, I was going to ask you. So you guys, this is what I do for people um, in my community of my customers that they want everything. You guys, I make post-it notes up, right? So Sandy Wicklander, I have your post-it notes started right here. And I wasn't sure about the 3D box, but you know what? It's a yes. So now I know to finish pricing out everything. So what I do, you guys, when you are taking everything or the majority of things, um, I figure out what I'm shipping what week and what can be shipped together, and then I reduce the pricing to save on shipping. So let's say I am shipping out two classes this week, um, then what happens, I can put them in the same package and I'll knock off a few dollars for the shipping, right? Instead of it being six and six for shipping, I do six and two and save you $4. So, um, and so Shirley Malarkey, <laughs> Shirley, you're so funny. Look at Shirley, I got yours right here too, and it said 3D box question mark, right? So now you just answered my question. Perfect. And so um, 
I just uh, have Jeannie Parker and Donna Grushki. I was going to see once if Donna Grushki was going to do the box as well. So, and Donna, you are watching. And Jeannie Parker, if you're watching, let me know as well, because then I can figure out your guys' slips. So, yay. Oh, I'm in up for all those classes. <laughs> Laura <laughs> is in for all the classes too. I love it, you guys. You guys are very supportive, and I so greatly appreciate it. So we are going to do here a sign up. All right. So Sarah Mitchell, you are already signed up. I looked here. Your name's already on the list for the uh, favorite flowers. Stamp a stack of boxes. Um, so Laura Sullivan, we can definitely get you added. And then I got uh, Shirley and Sandy added as well. So yay. Okay. So we're going to do roll call, you guys. Alice Otto, watching for the first time in Plainfield, Illinois. Awesome. I hope you enjoy class tonight, Alice. Um, hi, Debbie. Gas stopping in to say hi. Catching the replay later. I, y you think you're a yes for the boxes, too. Um, you are, Debbie. You're definitely on the, the list. You were one of the 20 that um, had... Uh, had signed up just by seeing the outside naked. <laughs> All right, Ann Ballinger also signed up for the class. Awesome, yay, I'm so excited, you guys. So um, it's gonna be a good one. So Ann, I will add you as well. And anybody else too, just reach out to me. If you wanna take the class, just let me know because I need to get your name on the list so I can mentally start preparing, the, like having the right materials here. And uh, I can always, if you're signed up for something else at the same time, we'll look at that and figure out what to send for payment. So, all right, all right, all right. Did I miss anybody else here? No, I don't think so. Okay, perfect. So, roll call, please, right? Let's let's do our roll call. Oh, hi, Michelle Datsun. All right, where do I see the stamp stack that you have, that you have to the left over, that you have left over cards? Um, so, Marsha, I just finished making them. I will be photographing them tomorrow morning. And Kelly will be helping me create my cover photo tomorrow. And I will be publishing the class and all the details in the next 24 to 48 hours is definitely my, my plan. Um, I'll show them again to you when I flip the camera back down. Oh, Laura's a no for the boxes. Oh, Laura, when you said you wanted everything for May, I interpreted that that you wanted the boxes too. Um, so when you tell me everything for May, I guess I, I think that means everything. <laughs> so, But that's why they make this thing right here because then you can wipe people's names out that it's not supposed to be on the list. <laughs> Hi, Kat Vronick. Yay. All right. So Michelle Datsun wants the 3D box as well. So that's awesome, Michelle. I will get you in the spot <laughs> just where, where uh, Laura was. All right. So all right, Michelle's name. All right. So joining us from Canada, uh, who Rose sent classes out to are Trudy Mainville, Heather Grotto, Annie, Simon, and Jen Jen. So welcome all four of you to the Ready to Ride class that I do with Rose. Yay. And then from the States here, you guys, I have roll call. I, at the moment, don't know if I have a class left. I do, but I'm not willing to commit it to somebody right now. If anybody's interested, where's Tigger? It's Susan. I, Tigger was sleeping. <laughs> I couldn't rebel rouse the cat. He had a very stressful day with the storms. And so I think he was sleeping peacefully and I didn't bring him in. So I apologize, you guys. I know that you like to see him. Um, if Tyler gets home and I can coordinate it, I might see if Tyler will bring it, uh, him out, but um, he, otherwise he won't be here this time. <laughs> oh, Laura, you're okay. No worries. Um, so I might or I might not have one left. I always wait to see if I forgot to sign somebody up because that does happen, you guys. I don't ever intend for it to happen, but sometimes it does happen and it's so hard to cut one extra kit when I'm already working on the next thing. So if I do have a ready to ride left on Saturday when I schedule the email thanking everybody for taking the class, it will say it in that email on Saturday if I have one or not. And if I do, whoever reaches out to me first is the one that usually gets it. Um, so, all right. So first on our list was actually Michelle Dadson. You signed up so long ago, girl, for this class. <laughs> Probably back in January. And then we have Annette Rollin, Donna Grushke, Millie Kindle, Cindy Runtree, Cheryl Thomas, Angela Knutson, Jenny Payne, Lila Erickson, Laura Sullivan, Bonnie Kemen, Sandy Wicklander, Shirley Malarkey, Tanya Jackson, Jeannie Parker, Sherry Everett, Vicky, Vicky Rodriguez, Karen Woods, Marsha Dean, Leslie McMinn, 
Crystal Wyckoff. And I'd like to say a special thanks to Crystal. She supports Mary Gunn, and she is the one that won this class from Craft Roulette. Uh, I did Craft Roulette a few weeks ago, and the class that Crystal picked out was this one. So it's her very first class with the for with me. <laughs> Yay! Um, I hope you enjoy it, Crystal. Hi, uh, and then Sue Wagner, <laughs> Mary Lemke, Rachel Horsch, Melody Miller, Cheryl Bowie, Susan Ray Hendricks, Kate Reynolds, Suzanne Neal, Kat Birch, Marsha Spatek, Lori Baxter, Janet DeShane, Pamela Leahy, Jamie Johnson, Becky Gandolfo, Ramona Culp, Carmen Melendez, Sue Spigner, Joanne Kahn. This is also Joanne's first class with me. She watches Rose and Rose was talking about this class and so Joanne reached out to me to get these kits. So thank you, Rose, for that, that referral. Shirley Vanderblumer and me and then potentially one more, but I don't know for sure. So we're not going to say that there's room for one more at the moment. <laughs> All right. So I would also like to say a big thank you to Millie Kindle, Laura Sullivan, Karen Woods, and Marcia Svatek, along with uh, Kara, Katie Schmidt. These five gals bought the bundle as their RSVP for class. Whenever they bought it, it could have been any time between January and the day last week, Thursday. They bought the bundle by the deadline and they received a half a pack of paper of the designer series paper because this is the promotional class that um, has been in. I've been doing this class probably for three or four years now and it is called the Sweet Bundle class and it features everything from the suite and at least the cards once. And primarily it features all of the, at least each sheet of paper, the designer series paper, at least once. And I'll show that to you guys. Right now I have my book here and we're gonna just see what's in the suite of products. And I'm very happy to say you guys that the designer series paper is on sale for $12. <clears throat> I believe it's still there too. The last time we were talking about it last night, it was still there. So let me flip this down. You guys can see the designer series paper. And so one of the cards features this one, one features that, one's that, one's that, one uses that, and we use these both. And so all of them got kind of sprinkled in to the different, the four different cards. This suite is found in the mini catalog found on pages 68 through 69. And that's what the spread looks like. Uh, the stamp set and the dies are actually carrying over in separately into the new annual catalog. So the bundle will be going away. So if you wanna get this set now and you wanna save a little money, now is the time to get it because it's only $50. Um, if you buy them individually, they are 50, they total 56 right now, and I don't even know what the new pricing in the annual catalog is for these two items. I'm not quite sure. The metal plate also carries over to the new annual catalog. The, the paper and these studs are what don't carry over. So if you're liking them, I would definitely make sure you get your hands on them now. Uh, we will be using the studs, <laughs> the studs in class. Uh, how it works is um, two of the cards use them. One uses black, one uses silver, and you either got the rectangle-like ones, you either got circles, or you got the diamonds. Um, and the cards look great with any one of the shapes on them. And then one of the cards used the classic matte dots, for these classic, or the, they're not classic, sorry, the matte black dots. And then one card uses these little brushed metallic dots. And I think I need to go get some more with some smaller ones on it. Uh, so that's what we use for embellishment. So we don't always use the embellishments that come in the suite for the class. We pull in other things as well. And we might use other embossing folders. So it's all good. It, that's where it comes from though. And yep, Cindy, she confirmed that the DSP is still available. Um, so that's good. So if you really like this and you want to get stocked up on some paper, now is the time to do it before it disappears. I did notice you guys that the Playing in the Rain designer series paper it's gone. I was going to make up a few. Well, so I'm making up a few more of the ink, paper, scissors. I'm making actually five of them up only because that's how much I could get. I could only get my hands on the DSP for five more sets and they're already gone. <laughs> they're already accounted for, but I was going to make up eight or 12 more because I ran out of that class already last week and people were asking for it. Hi, Lisa Spacek. 
Um, I don't get why they keep the bundle, but DSP, but I bought, the, you bought two packs, good. Um, so with regards to DSP, they generally never carry designer series paper over. Even if they carry the sweet, or the, sorry, if they carry the bundle over. Think of Hydrangea Lane, right? That was an awesome suite of products and they carried over the bundle, not even the bundle. I think they might've just carried over the stamps and the dies. They didn't carry over the designer paper. Art Gallery, they carried over the stamps and the dies, but they didn't carry the designer paper. They generally never ever carry over designer paper. I can think of two times in my head in the last five years that I remember they carried over designer paper to a new catalog. And that was the wood grain one from about four years or three years ago. And then they had the elements one, um, tasteful, El tasteful textiles. It, there was a folder, there was, it was a big mega pack of 48 sheets and it was all um, wall type stuff like bricks and stones and grains, like wood grain, that one. I don't remember what the name of that pack was, but they did carry that one over and that's it. Those are the only two packs that I can ever remember them carrying over in the last five to 10 years. I don't remember. Like DSP is something they never carry over and I don't, don't ask me why. I don't know. I don't know. That doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me, especially when they carry the bundle because that paper is so pretty. But I suppose they have new paper that they want to bring out and share with us. Um, so here, you guys, this is what we're working with tonight. We are going to be using this bundle. Um, but just know the cards were designed in a manner that you don't need to have these stamps. Honestly, none of the focal images here were used except for on the insides. And then what we used on the outsides here were the sentiments, okay? So that's what got pulled in. Um, some of you will be able to use this die for cutting out your designer series paper boat motorcycles and some of you they don't work so we'll talk about that when we get to the cards uh, but all the other die cutting was done for you so let's see what the cards i'll show you here i didn't even show you the cards yet so we have the ride on it's your birthday and that's the designer paper you are legendary and then that's the designer paper and then we have here a uh, happy birthday and you guys that actually comes from on the ocean so that stamp got pulled in here and then I've got here um, that comes from this set. And on the inside of some of the cards, we needed to pull in a happy birthday. So we pulled in a grandkid. So um, that's where that came from. So that's so three sets got used, but honestly, they were primarily for sentiments. Um, this on the ocean is actually carrying over two to the new catalog, but as separate items. And then the other dies. Um, maybe some of the other colors are unavailable. Oh, I see what you're saying. That could be too. Yeah, you know, you know what? For this one, soft suede got retired. So like that one worked so well to have this designer paper carried over with that soft suede because you couldn't buy soft suede cardstock to go with it. Um, maybe they should print a new DSP to coordinate with the sets. You know what, Laura? That is a great idea too. Um, you could if you wanted. Anybody who's a demonstrator that has ideas like that, we strongly encourage you to go to the sandbox. I don't know. It's not called the sandbox anymore. There's an idea box or something that you can go give your ideas to Stampin' Up! And that's the kind of stuff that they want to hear is like, what do we want? Um, having designer paper that carries over would be awesome. What got pulled in for dies here is it's called Something Fancy. And we pulled in a couple of these label dies and then there's a couple label dies here that got pulled in so so now you guys know what kind of products were used for this class we can go ahead and get started making the cards um i don't know before i forget to um i did have three pumpkins uh leave here or um are going to be leaving here i still have in case anybody's looking for the april paper pumpkin i have five left okay um, if you didn't hear in my live yesterday, I accidentally didn't turn off. I didn't like skip a couple of, I have a couple different, I have eight different accounts that I usually have running and I either usually get three extra, I get eight extra, I get five depending on the pumpkin. And this time I got eight because I forgot to skip a couple of them and that's okay. I thought April looked like a good one. So I bet that they'll be, they'll, they'll slowly disappear. I'm sure. But in case you guys are ever looking for a paper pumpkin, if they're behind me in my video, that means they're up for grabs, okay? So just reach out to me. All right, so let's get back to here. Uh, let's see here. 
What's one, what one do we want to start with? Um, I'm gonna save Purplelicious one for last because it's my favorite. You guys, purple's my favorite color. We'll do that, we'll get warmed up. How about that? Let's get warmed up with an easier one. And then we'll do the fun fold because you guys probably don't even know that that's a fun fold. So we'll get that one next and then we'll do another easier one. Okay, so what do you guys get when you get a class from me? Like a four card class or a three card class? Everything comes in envelopes. So normally, let's see here, let's put that back there. So everything's in an envelope like this contained with the embellishments that you need, the ribbon you need. So you get an envelope with the card kits, right? No like flat card stock that you have to score yourself. We really do score the card stock um, and have it ready that all you need to do is stamp and assemble and then use your ribbon and embellishments that are in your kit to put on it. Um, people ask me, how, where do they find the class? like they get a piece of paper like this and they're like, well, what do I do? So this is mine. Hi me. Right. And it says sweet bundle card class. And then I reference ride for ready to ride. I'm, it made the most sense to me to put ride, right? Cause this is auto auto kind of populated here. And then I put the day of the class today's for 2023. And so like, let's say it's six months from now, you definitely always want to keep this slip of paper. And I'm not sure what exactly Rose does and how she references the class. But for me, you get a slip of paper that looks like this. You definitely want to always keep that slip of paper with the card kits. And you're down the road and you're like, how do I, like, how do I make these cards? Just know one of the easiest things to do to refer back to the video, and people don't always know this, especially if they're just taking classes with me for the first time. If you go out to my website, cardsbycrispy.com, and you go to my calendar of events and you look for like yesterday was the 19th. Anytime I do an online class, you will see the online version of it. And when you, when I'm done with class, I add the link, catch the replay on YouTube by clicking here and it takes you into the class. All right. So that is the easiest way to refer back. Cause I had a couple people reach out to me this week. They're like, what am I supposed to do with a slip of paper and a date on it? And it's like, well, you go find the video, right? It's in here. <laughs> like they're in my, it's my calendar of events, right? The other thing you guys is I always um, email the tutorial out to you and the tutorial is in your email inbox. A lot of people, they, they save the files to their hard drive or they, um, let's get out of this one and get back into the one we're watching. They save them in their computer or they'll save them in a folder in their email. And it's always by the name of the class. You go kind of like ready to ride and you should get the tutorial come up because everybody who takes this class with us gets the tutorial included in your class registration. All right. So I just needed to call that out there because sometimes you're new and you don't know that we try to make it as simple as possible for you to not have to hunt and find things. Okay. And I like to teach you these things so then you know where to go. Um, and you don't always have to wait for an answer from me um, when you're looking for something right away. Okay, so what do you get in this one? There's a piece of crumb cake and it's already embossed for you with the metal blade embossing folder. So that's one thing. Um, you'll have your piece of designer series paper cut and underneath it, you're gonna see that my helpers die cut stuff out of this mat for the purplicious card, okay? You're being like, why is it all full of holes and such? Well, you know what? That's called paper conservationists at our finest um, and it's gonna get covered up anyways, right? So. That is, we, we choose to do that. I will say somebody in class last night is giving this card to her. She is going to give it to her mom. And so she put this side up, which looks super cool as well. And it makes it a little more feminine if you're going to want to give this card to a lady versus a man. So you have that. You also have this bike. Now, the dies that come with this class or this set, when you get this, there's a bike in here, you guys. I don't know. <laughs> like, it was like torture. Why did they give? So this is not the die that works for this bike, right? So you will have to do a little fussy cutting and um, thank goodness it's not a lot of nooks and crannies and there's a bunch of straight lines, but you guys, I did not do a magic of TV with you today. <laughs> I thought of it uh, later in life and it was after we were live that I thought of it. <laughs> and so, you know what? We're just going to cut this together as a group and that's okay. Um, you just, 
if you hate fussy cutting, just be happy that there's only two things in here that potentially need fussy cutting. Just be happy you didn't have to necessarily own the stamp set if you didn't want to buy the stamp set. This class was designed so that you could um, not own the stamp set, but still make these awesome cards for those people in your life that love motorcycles. So I'll tell you, you guys, last year, the Manly Man set that they had in the catalog was called Hey Sports Fan. And I think all in all, I only had, um, compared to this class, I used the word only, only because this class, there was 60 people last year for this May class, or this, it was actually in May last year, but they ended the catalog a month early. So this comparable class last year had 34 people sign up, and that was the baseball themed one. So here's our motorcycle ready to go. Oh man, did you guys notice that bike faces this way and that bike faces that way? What are we going to do? We're just going to flip flop our cards, right? It's okay. The cards that have the motorcycles on them were designed that they could be reversible, okay? Mirrored like that. I print off with the QR code that links you to... Yes, perfect. Rose does. She says she does the same and she prints it off with the QR code that links to YouTube video. Perfect. So you guys will have a slip of the pumpkin pie. You'll have some very vanilla for your inside. A little burlap ribbon. You guys, this is part of that country bouquet suite that came with real red and then burlap. So you have one of those and then you'll have your base. All about the base. And you're going to want to make sure you burnish it with the bone with the bone folder. And we'll do a little bit of stamping first. So you're going to need a memento ink pad, a black. You could use stays on if you had stays on. It's no problem. Um, they both will stamp nice. And what you're going to do, I like to grab a little scratch paper here just to practice. See what it looks like. So this, this stamp gets me because it's got this waviness to it. Um, and if you don't, so like, <laughs> if you look at it, the mine, the U, and then it goes up a hair and then it comes back down. It makes like a gentle rolling hill. If you want, you can take and bring that up a hair. It's okay. It, it'll work. If you want, just bring it up. That's perfect. And if you still want on this side, you could take the Y and kind of slightly adjust it so that it might look a little straighter. I don't know why it's like that, but I'm good with that then. And then what we're going to do is stamp the You Are Legendary on our pumpkin pie. I'm going to center it top to bottom, left to right. Let that ink marinate. Give it a second to hit the purple, uh, the purple paper, the orange paper. You guys know where mine mine's at. It's ready for the purple glitches card. All right. Again, if you don't like the way it stamps, you can always flip it over. You get a second chance to stamp that. All right, then on our inside, what we have is the motorcycle. If you wanna see the whole thing, you can put the whole thing on. Or if you wanna see it like it's driving onto the page like that, you could do that as well. Um, I have it that you see the whole thing. Um, but I think on this one, what we will do is make it that it's driving on to the piece of very vanilla. Thanks for sharing on Facebook, Sandy Wicklander. All right, you guys, I did um, create a post on my Cards by Christine page, and um, you can always share that post, or you can share this video from YouTube as well. And then we're gonna do Ride On, It's Your Birthday. So we need this one, Ride On. <laughs> the girls in last, so I had this class in person last night, you guys. We had a rowdy bunch. Oh my goodness. They kept saying, ride on, ride on. And Chris Duderenke brought her leather Harley jacket. She was all decked out. It was awesome. All right. So we've got ride on. Let that ink marinate. That's it, you guys, for stamping on this card. So it's not too crazy. There we go. So that's ready to go. Now let's talk assembly. There's a couple things we can do here. So because this has holes in it, I definitely am not gonna put glue all over the back of that. What I will do instead is glue like this. <laughs> Boom, just like that. That's all I'm gonna do for there. And then we're gonna set the designer paper into it. And the reason is if you put glue all over the back of that, you're gonna end up with holes, like the glue going through the holes. And then it's gonna get onto your workspace if you have it flat. So that's good. 
And then we're gonna put this on the inside. So there will be a tutorial available for this class. I get asked about the tutorials. I don't do a blog with measurements for when I offer classes because the tutorial is special to the people who take the class with me, but I do offer it and put it in my online store for anybody that's interested in purchasing it. So just know that that'll be out there probably tomorrow or Saturday. Um, Oh, Sue Beasley loves Rose as well. I love it. Okay, so this one is going to get popped up. And you guys, this class is the perfect class to use the black dimensionals. So we're going to pull out black dimensionals. And we're going to prep this with a bunch of them. And so this definitely, the sweet bundle class. The class from yesterday isn't out there yet, you guys. I was working with Diane today, and I just didn't have a moment to... Um, get it done. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, because I don't know exactly where this ribbon is going to go. I want the ribbon and it's hard to see it, but it's here. There's ribbon here. It's coming out that side and then it's kind of in line with the motorcycle. So what I'm going to do is because I don't know exactly where I want it to go. I put my dimensionals on my back and I'm only going to take off like the top half of them and I'm going to leave the bottom half so it doesn't stick. And I'm going to put this Again, my bike goes this way. So I'm actually going to put the, you want to make sure your 46 is going the right way so that it's not upside down like that, right? This There is a direction to this paper. Hi, Ileana. Hi, Jean Terwilliger. <laughs> You're super late tonight. That's okay. We always say better late than never. Um, so with this one, because the bike was going that way, I had the DSP more over on this side. If you guys want to center things, you can always do that. But because this bike is facing the opposite, I think I'm gonna do the opposite and put this over to the left a little bit more, like that. And again, it's not adhered on the bottom. And I did that for a reason, because I really want to figure out where this stuff is gonna go. And this is popped up as well, so I'm gonna take and pop up my pumpkin pie piece here. And this one right here is gonna need a double stack because it's off the edge of what's already popped up here. So that's a double, a double stuff on the right. Hi, Jody Storman. I almost forgot. Well, I'm glad you remembered. So then this is going to go right about here. And then the bike is going to go on next. And we're going to pop that up as well. And you guys, popping is a personal preference, okay? People ask me all the time, should I pop it up or not? Well, you know what? What do you like to do? Do you like it lifted up? Do you prefer it flat? Some people like things flat because it might mail a little bit better and some people don't care about that. And so I'm a popper, I like to pop up. And so this one's gonna act like it's riding on top of the pumpkin pie. And we're gonna set it right about there. Now this is hanging off the back end here slightly. So what I think I'll do is prep this with another one there and I'm gonna sneak in a double stuff Oreo right there with chocolate filling right there. So that's gonna help support this so it doesn't get squished flat. All right, now I know where my ribbon's gonna go. And we can take two pieces for waiting in the wings and we can take two of them and put them right back here, take off that little waxy paper. And now we can slide this ribbon up here and get a good idea where it needs to be. And I wanna have it. Hi, Lori Baxter. I'm happy you were finally able to join, yay. So now I know exactly where it is. Had I put the ribbon down, I might've put it down here. I might've put it up here. I might not have it exactly where I wanted it. And I wanted it to be so that you could see it coming out like it's part of the road, like, like it's driving along, right? You have movement flow here. So now that it's exactly where I want it, I can flip my tails back. It'll catch that tear and tape. And now we can put this onto our card front. And I'm gonna put liquid glue everywhere else, except for I don't need to put it where the tear and tape is because that's gonna help secure it itself. 
I'm so happy they are carrying over that burlap and the real red ribbon that did make it into the new catalog. Okay. Oh man, to Stella or not to Stella? That is the question. I think that we might grant a pass tonight on some of these cards because they, I don't know. If you ask Tyler, he doesn't appreciate Stella or Bling at all. You have to keep in mind who your audience is, right? Are they going to appreciate the Stella or not, right? <laughs> to Stella or not, that is the question. Um, I have one lonely little diamond soldier here. So I'm just going to take that one off of here. Um, I know last night in class, people were using in threes, but the way that these come out, there's an odd number with that one right there. So I think I'm going to put that one down there, and then I'll put two of the circlies at the top here. But again, you guys, the way I cut your kits, yeah, maybe this should go over here. Let's just see what it looks like over here. No, maybe over here. You can see it better over here. There. Um, I cut and I put three either rectangles, three circles, or three diamonds. And I'm not sure Rose if Rose might have given everybody the same ones in her kits. So, but they definitely came from here. Again, you guys, I'm not gonna Stella. I'm gonna opt to not Stella this. And whoever receives this card as a prize in the future can definitely always Stella it if they want to. Hello, goo ball that was in there. All right, so we got one done, you guys. Look at that. That was easy peasy lemon squeezy is what they say. <laughs> Thank you. You guys like it. It's a cute card. Good, good. If you guys join me for the winter creative escape back in January, this was similar to one of the cards we did for the escape, except for the motorcycle got swapped out. You guys had bits and pieces for your motorcycle, but the background and layout was the same. So you might recognize it, you guys. It might look familiar to you. All right, so we got one done. Yay. Oh, man, I got to show you guys something else, too. We'll share these cards with you after class. How about that? I got these to share with you. We'll put them at the end here. It is yet another class, you guys. <laughs> oh, man. What do we have here, actually? Usually, I have Happy Mail, too, to do. So we've got some Happy Mail, all this Happy Mail to share with you guys. So... I will be sharing this with you guys after class too. How does that sound? We'll put that back here so I don't forget it. All right. We'll keep rolling with our four cards though. Thanks to Thomas. Thanks to Yvonne Cooper. All right. So you guys don't know this one. This is actually a fun fold. Carissa had this idea actually. She came up with the idea to pop it up like this and that gets put like that. And it's an easel card, you guys. Isn't that cool? Very, very cautious. You do not want to put your dimensionals on the top half here. If you can see here, they're only on the bottom half, right? So you got to be very careful when you're putting this card together. If you glue this whole piece of DSP down, you're going to be sad face, bad news bears, okay? Other than that, it's not so crazy. Um, the ride on it's your birthday. Happy birthday. We'll get that stamping. And this is the other card that has a motorcycle in it. So that is this kit right here. So definitely went through vanilla in this class. There was three cards, you guys, that featured vanilla <laughs> instead of white. It had been a while. You guys love it. Yay, good, good. All right, so in this one, you guys, you'll have your embellishments. So I must have already had those in there. So these are those matte black dots. They are not carrying over, you guys. Sad face. Um, you got some pumpkin pie trim, which is part of the three twine combo pack, which is pumpkin pie, garden green, and Bermuda Bay, I think. So you got some ribbon. This is one of the something fancy dies. And then it's matted onto a piece of pumpkin pie like that. Oh man, I got lucky. I got lucky. Look at that. There's a bike here that can actually get die cut. Look at that. Hmm, how about them apples? I gotta go grab the die cutting machine now. <clears throat> so we'll put some tape on here. Why not use it, right? We will die cut this one and have that ready for the die cutting machine in a second. And you will have a little strip here. It looks like road and it's embossed with the metal plate embossing folder. You have the tire DSP here. The back side is the orangey. And then this is the one that has the scenery featured on it. 
It's matted onto a piece of basic black. And then you already have this scored for you. All right, so those that have the tutorial, you already have the measurements if you wanna recreate it. I don't know what they are off the top of my head, but just check the tutorial. You have it in there so you can see when you wanna recreate it. Now, that I just burnished that way. Now what happens is we have to fold this one like that. It folds in to make the easel. And then this one folds back out like this, all right? All right, then what's gonna happen is that gets caught underneath where we're gonna put the designer paper and that's how our easel works. Let's do some stamping and then we can put our card together. How does that sound? So we need that, I'll set this over here and we need the ride on. It's your birthday, we're gonna party like it's your birthday and we don't care because it's your birthday. <laughs> it's a song, <laughs> all right. Let's put that right there. We're gonna let that marinate for a moment. And then we're going to do the happy birthday. Now remember, this designer paper is gonna get put right down there like that. So we're gonna stamp this a little bit higher. So you have a little bit of room to write. I think that's it for stamping, you guys. <laughs> do you love it when you don't have a lot of stamping? I mean, yes and no, right? We all, I mean, we all love stamping. Otherwise we wouldn't be here, right? But there's that one and there's that one okay cool beans and bagels that's it for that so what can we do you have to decide how you want your tires to be showing here the tread like that one's a little different than this one you know you have to decide you want it like that depending on how you like it just figure out and Let's do gluing though. I wanna glue these two things down. Okay, let's get them down. I tried to give the same color, but some people got different shapes. Oh, I did the same thing, Rose, absolutely. Yep, and that is not a problem whatsoever. I'm definitely going to recreate these. I have a lot of bike friends, so I'll be making pink and purple cards. Laura, awesome, I love it. Um, oh yeah, that reminds me, so even, so, Speaking of the tutorials, and I brought this up yesterday too because somebody asked about it, my team always gets the tutorials and Rose does send the tutorials to her team as well. So one of the perks about being on our teams is when we do our online classes like this, we share the tutorials with our team. So this one is actually was, it, I email it to my team and I also put it in my team Facebook page so that you can always search for it in there, which is awesome. And there's that. Then there's no reason why we can't glue this one down and put that on here. Oh, I did it wrong. Okay, lesson learned, you guys. Okay, don't put glue everywhere. Okay, say, watch what I do and make sure you don't do the same. Okay, it is an easel card. Okay, I wiped that off really fast. Um, I'm gonna let this dry for a second and I'm gonna come back with my adhesive eraser and take more of the goo off. We only want, that's what you call getting glue happy guys. We only wanna glue on the bottom half, okay? So we're gonna come back to that in a moment and fix it. It's okay, we can fix these things. We'll work on, hi Millie Kindle, hi Catherine Healy. Uh, we are going to let that sit for a second before we fix it though. Okay, take your pumpkin pie thread I got glue happy. I got so excited to glue that you guys have no idea. And we're gonna grab our tear and tape. We will get this ready to go. I'm gonna put one waiting in the wings here. And what I did is it's between the orange and the label here. So grab the corner of that. And now what I did is I folded these in half like that. And they are going to come out the bottom right hand corner like that. And then to secure it. We're going to put another piece over the top and I think we'll just use white ones this time. And I'll put four of them on. Eh, five. Eh, six. <laughs> Why not, right? They're little. They're widow, widow, really widow. All right. Then this is going to go on to the piece of pumpkin pie that's matted slightly bigger than the label. So that's ready to go for us. 
and let's work on this then. So I decided I want this thicker black tire tread to be at the bottom. And what I'm going to do is use my edges here of my black dimensionals. And I feel like I have one started over here. Let's use this one. So I'm gonna cut strips here. That's what the edge is perfect for, to use them as strips. And it's pretty much in the center. So I'm gonna put right in about in the middle and I'm gonna run this across that way. And then there's this one. Oh yes, Cindy Benner, you can just buy the tutorials. Absolutely. Um, thanks for answering that, Cindy. I saw your answer, Cindy. So I saw, I, I figured out somebody was asking about it. Um, I can show you guys too. Sometimes people don't know where to look for them. And I will show you guys actually where to find it. So I tried to do a class on this, but no takers. The cards are just so nice with the suite. They sure are. Um, I'm not, I definitely agree. <laughs> Lori, distract me. You're okay. It's nothing I can't fix. And then you guys can see I make mistakes too. I, I, I get glue happy every now and then. All right. So now this is coming off like this. And it is flush. So this is my bottom. So this is flush. You gotta be careful with this. Like once you start on it, you really gotta get it straight because you don't wanna have to pull it up like that. If for any reason it's longer than what it needs to be, you just trim the edge, All right? So now we've got that in the black, it's harder to see it, right? We're on the white one here. When I did white, you could definitely see that in the middle. All right, so then this will get a little bit of liquid glue and we will put that on the inside, just like that. All right, Corinne, we'll catch you on the replay. We have storms here too, you guys. Um, we're supposed to, we're in a tornado warning maybe, or like not the, like, it's possibility of it happening. It's not like it's immediate danger is what, whatever. I don't, I can never remember the difference between the warning and the watch. To me, like watch should mean that we're watching it, right? That it's coming. And a warning should mean that it's potential thoughts, but I feel like it's the other way around. So you guys, this is called an adhesive eraser. You can get them um, on Amazon if you want, or in a dollar store or in a craft store. If you are my customer and get classes from me and would like to me include one in your next package, it's just $3. I get them and then I can always, I keep them on stock for my customers that are in person in case they need them. And so what that did is it just took off all the goo that was re leftover residue <laughs> from my accidental glue overdose. So all right, so that's no longer sticky. So what I would do now, <laughs> Um, oh, Renee Cook just asked. It's just an adhesive eraser. That is what it's called. And it gets these little boogers on the end that you just pick off and put in the garbage, not on your floor. <laughs> Otherwise it gets messy. So now what I would do, you guys, instead of gluing the back of that, I would have normally told you to glue the mat section or the part where it's supposed to go on. I would definitely have done that. And then what happens is I'm gonna set this right into where it needs to go and make sure I center it really good like this. No, um, Lori Baxter just asked a question about Rose's Technique tutorials. We do not sell the Technique Club tutorials. That is the one thing that is not for sale. Um, because it's exclusive to the club. It's a really good question, Lori. It is exclusive to the club. Um, and so you would have to take the class with us. Um, so like sometimes I have somebody who takes the class one month, but then they might not take it the next month. My club is like, you get the benefits from taking 10 in a row, but I do have people that might only sign up for a class and then, yep, they would get it because they place their order to get the class for free. Um, the only other exception is our teams. Our teams do get every tutorial that we create. So Rose's team would get the club technique and then my team would get it because that's just a perk um, for being on our teams. Kat Fronick, what did you use to 
sop up the glue before the ink eraser. I used my paper towel that just happened to be sitting right here. And that's where the glue that I wiped off is sitting cat. <laughs> just a paper towel. I don't like to use baby wipes on paper because baby wipes are wet and you're getting wetness on your cardstock, which paper and water don't mix. So I definitely, I just grabbed the paper towel that was sitting right over here. Um, I'm going to go grab my die cutting machine, but, um, Annette, you, who, uh, Cindy, Cindy Benner, you were asking, can you just buy the tutorials? What you would need to do if you want to buy the tutorials is you would go to my website and what you click on, um, our shop and online classes, tutorials, and you can do a search feature if you know the name of the class or the stamp set, but honestly, you have to, you have to scroll down all the way to the bottom it doesn't put it doesn't put the most recent one at the top and there's this many you guys there's a ton the last one that I put on here was game night so um if you buy it from my website my website charges a convenience fee of usually a dollar per 20 because that's how much the fee is and so if anybody ever wants to pay me outside of the system with PayPal friends and family or Venmo or Zelle that's always a possibility but give me 30 seconds you guys I'm gonna grab my die cutting machine All right, the little mini boss is in order for now. Um, oh, Sandy said that she uses a fabric softener sheet. Works great to remove glue residue. Great, thank you for that input as well. That's always good to know other alternatives. And what we're gonna do is just run this through. And <laughs> you got it, cat. Yeah. Um, it didn't leave little fibers that I saw. Um, what the glue does do, if you accidentally get glue, it does leave a line. I noticed that it has always left a line and you can kind of see the remnants of this line here, but it's not sticky. And that's the most important thing, except for, I can tell right there, there's a little bit yet, but nobody's really going to be looking in the back and inspecting it like we think they are. So um, let's just see here. One of the things I want to do too is make sure that this is going to slide in here. Oh, perfect. So what I did is I pushed it a little bit. I pushed this down a little bit. And then what happens now is this nestles in here nicely. It was designed to have the dimensional strip go right through the middle. If you do it up here, you're, this is going to pop out more. If you do it down here, it's gonna to wanna to slide in more. It was definitely designed to have your dimensional strip right through the middle here, and then that gives you that same orange margin pretty much all the way around here. All right, so we've got our bike. And now this bike faces the same way as the sample, but I believe, let me just see if I have my other. So you guys, if your dies start to get like a little burnt bend to them. I just kind of gently bently <clears throat> bring them back like that to help them get back to being flat. And then they fit back on my magnetic sheet good again. Oh, okay, my other sample has the bikes going the same way. <clears throat> but let's say your bike goes the other way. If your bike is going to go this way on this card, what you need to do is put it over here and then you would actually put this tag over on this side and then you would want to have your little ribbon potentially coming out over on the left side versus the right side, all right? Oh, you're very welcome, Cindy. All right, with that being said, we can grab our dimensionals. I'm gonna use the black ones again. So you guys get a little fun fold with this class. A little easel card, but not a traditional easel card, right? Because of how we set up that inside. All right, so I got my dimensionals and my bike's gonna be riding along this scenic city here, checking out everything. And then I glued this flat because we have the vanilla labels popped up. 
Hi, Lynn Beasley popping in for a few minutes. I love it. Thanks for stopping in. So this, I gotta be careful I didn't put glue too close to the edge. I do have it, it's lined up flush with the edge of the card over here. So we're gonna go just like that. Figure out where you want it. See with liquid glue, you guys have the ability to maneuver it until it sets, right? And then trim your, give your little haircut. Maybe that one needs it. And you know, these were actually the perfect length. I don't necessarily know if they need any more trimming. I'm gonna let them be. Let it be, let it be like Elsa and Anna. And I'm gonna put the little black dot right here. And then right there. And figure out where you want to put the other one. Um, I have it over here, but I feel like it might be better right there. Hi, Judy Jones from Australia. Thanks for tuning in. All right, again, you guys, I don't know about the Stella Ng. <laughs> it depends on who you're gonna give the card to, right? So, um, hi, Maria Gilbertson popping in for a few minutes. Thanks, Cindy Runtree. Your call, I'm gonna hold off on the Stella for this time, just because whoever gets the card can always make that executive decision when this card gets drawn for the winners. But in that, it turned out super cool, I think, that you've got that easel and it really showcases off the designer series paper. It lets you see those tire treads. Yay! All right, you guys. We got number two done. So let's put that back in here. And we'll flip my recipe card back that way. And we will get ready for our third card, which is another easy one, you guys. I'm getting you guys all raw, primed and ready for the last card because the last card is a doozy um, in a good way. <clears throat> I had three different tables set up for stamping last night for the different cards. And two of the groups did almost three cards in the same time that it took for the other group to do the one card. And so it's a lot more tedious. All right, so let's see what we got. This officially looks like this, right? I absolutely love, L-O-V-E love, that metal plate embossing folder on anything foil. And so this is that brushed metallic paper, which comes with bronze, tan, and gold. And so it looks so cool on there. Um, I will admit that I accidentally embossed a couple peoples upside down. So I'm not necessarily wrong, just opposite. That there are little check marks or plus signs or these whatever multiply signs. <coughs> Excuse me. I had the frog there. Um, they might be going the other way. <laughs> um, so, hi, Mitzi Stanley. So, just so you know that that might be happening to a couple of you. It wasn't intentional. It was definitely accidental. But it doesn't mean it looks bad. It just is opposite. And then this is the paper that has, like, the biker's gear on it. And pulled in a something fancy die again. And then on the inside, we have the little uh, wrench stamp there. And then the happy birthday again. So, this is another vanilla one. And in your kits, we also use the burlap for that. So you'll see some burlap ribbon. Um, I do have a confession to make on your kits. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna go see if I can pull the die that was actually used for that because that actually, um, the sample here is a die. I'm gonna show you where it came from in case you're wondering. And I'm gonna show you what I used on your kit and why, okay? So one moment. I will admit, I don't normally use contraband, meaning non-stampin' up supplies, when making up your card kits. And I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure that, I don't, I don't know exactly what Rose did. I didn't talk to her about this part of it. Um, <clears throat> I forgot to tell her, I think, I don't even know, Rose, if, if you knew that it was from the mini pocket envelope die. And I honestly don't remember if I put that in the tutorial. I hope I did. I don't remember, but... <clears throat> 
I'm gonna flip the camera down and show you where, if you wanna make this little edge thing like this, like that, it actually comes from the mini pocket envelope dies. And it's this die right here that has the little die cut oval. It looks like a very small oval. <clears throat> so I didn't have the heart to have my helpers die cut the label and run that through and then to do 60 more of them with that little guy next to it. Now, if you're doing onesies, twosies or fives or tens and you're set yourself and <clears throat> you can do that, that is exactly what this is right here. It's just a little side slit that goes on the edge to make a tag. Okay, I told you I didn't have the heart to have my helper do 60 of them. <clears throat> so I remembered back in the day I had a Fisker's punch and I'm just gonna show it to you because I'm being completely honest, you guys. And it's in the shape of a very, very small rectangle that looks like this. And it took me three minutes to punch the 60 labels, maybe five minutes, I don't know. But I went punch, 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 punch. And I punched everybody's labels with the rectangle punch. Versus, and this is an old punch, you guys. This punch is probably 20 years old. I probably bought it in 2002 when I first started stamping and scrapbooking. So this is my scrapbooking punch. And so that's what I did punch in everybody's kit. So it's going to have the same net effect as the die, it just saved my helpers from the time of spending to, to do that. So, but I have to be honest, you guys, I can't hide things. And in case you're wondering what that's all about, that is what that's all about. So you have your little label here. You have two pieces of, um, you have two pieces of their soft suede and the tan for that little section over there. You have the designer series paper. It is. It was Mary the perfect punch for that. <laughs> and then this is matted on some vanilla. Oh, I got myself an upset. It's not wrong. It's just the other way. And you in the video probably can't even tell that. But it's actually, it popped up that way versus the other. So I'm going to be making that for my sample, which is perfectly fine. And then we have vanilla for the inside. A little burlap for our label. And then um, we have soft suede here for our card base. And we're going to burnish the edge. And let's get our stamping done first. So we are going to have in here, happy birthday. So we need to clean this one off so that we get the black off of it. And... You guys wonder about stamp. So I've seen some talking about why stamping up ink pads, like the the edge of them to get discolored, and they do. I have two of them that are doing that. The crumb cake is doing that, like this. Like this crumb cake, it's starting to discolor, and it's looking weird. Um, that happens. If you look at this punch here, you guys, it's not even been in sunlight, but it's, well, maybe that was the sunlight that did like you guys sunlight changes the color of things so just understand that why you wonder like why is something this and why did this discolor i mean light affects things negatively for the most part right our skin too right that just happens um i have that very same punch from long ago bonnie i think that's what i got when you, I, it, I saw that you wrote i have that er i thought that's what you meant i figured that much but um it's an old punch <laughs> so I don't generally, people ask me at the end of a catalog, hey, if you're selling this, can I buy it? And hey, if you have this, can I buy it? And I always have to politely tell people, I am so sorry, you guys. I'm a, I'm not only a Stampin' Up! demonstrator who teaches classes, but I'm a collector. Um, I like the things that I purchase. I don't purchase everything in the catalog. I'll be honest, I don't buy something if I don't think I'll use it in my business or love it, Right. And generally, the things that we feature in classes, like the stamp sets or the paper or anything, I because I like it, right? I, I like a lot of things. I'm really easy to please with stamps usually. But I don't get rid of things at sales very often. I don't sell off my stamps. I probably should because if you guys have seen my collection of stamps, you probably understand, yep, she probably doesn't get rid of a lot of things. <laughs> and I... I do have to work backwards in getting, like if I do have a like a sale or something, I'll work and get something from 10 or 15 or 20 years ago versus something that's current, right? So, oh yeah. So these punches that I have, I have about 10 of these Fiskars punches from many years ago and I just don't generally get, I don't 
You know, you never know when you're going to need it, right? So that's why I was happy. I went looking for that punch and I found it lickety split is exactly where I left it. All right, you guys, we're putting the classic authentic you since forever, ever, ever on here. Let's get that on here. <laughs> Laura, if you don't have that punch, I have an idea for you. Okay. If you don't have that punch, just take, if you have a piercing mat or like a self-healing mat, an X-Acto knife, what you could do is you could just take an X-Acto knife. Sometimes too, you could just take very carefully. You could take like the edge of your scissors and slice down and make yourself a little notch out. Once you get the ribbon on here, you can't really even see what it started off with. You just need an, a hole kind of. Okay, take your ribbon. I know it seems like we didn't give you a lot of ribbon and it doesn't seem like it's gonna be enough, but I promise it works. <laughs> and if you don't wanna do it the way that I'm gonna show you, you could always take it this way <clears throat> and just tie a knot on the side like this. That works perfectly fine too. Like, do you see that? That would look super cool. Fine, that works if you don't wanna do it this way. Yeah, Linda Hall has all those punches too. Yes, you guys, there was a heart. There was a, like all the different size circles. They were for scrapbooking. Like you could punch things. So what I'm going to do, whenever I have a tag like that, I fold it in half and it's always backwards in your head, right? You think you should come from the bottom up? Well, if you take from the fold and you go from the top down, that's what you need to do. And you bring it all the way to the end here so that your tails are just loose there. And now you bring those tails through here. What happens though is the hole is so small and you don't wanna rip the hole perfectly fine, right? So what you have to do is from right here, you have to MacGyver this very gingerly and bring that up from here. I'm just kind of bringing it up and then you can start to pull the little tails once you have brought that. If you pull too hard on this, you guys, I promise you it will rip. And you don't really want that. Okay, and then I'm gonna sneak another little, little pull there. And I'm gonna twist this. I use the tiny little dies from the seasonal labels to, does to make my, oh, perfect, that works, Rose. Okay, the seasonal label dies is what Rose used, the tiny little dots, the tiny little dies, perfect. All right, you guys, that's how I put this on here. So I'm seeing that this one right here, I want to pull that just a, there it comes up. Okay, there. That's how I did my little ends on here. Right, so we've got that on. Now let's get glue happy, happy, happy. This can get glued, these three things. We're going to, oh, and let's glue that on there. All right, take a deep breath. And let's put this on this on and that oh I suppose I should have waited haha <laughs> we'll do this one first then <laughs> and it goes right there and then this will go Woo! almost got my glue over there this one will go on here and then this one will go here right on the right hand side and oh it didn't stick okay you guys because the bumps are going down it didn't stick okay so I thought it was gonna hold tight but I need to give it a good press here like help my hold it down so that it does stick and then and it's still not gonna stick this is tear and tape would have been a lot better choice on that so let's do that in a second <laughs> This one, I've got that centered like that. Okay, let's go back and put a little tear and tape on here. Because once the tear and tape is on here, that'll immediately hold it. And then the glue will help to secure it later as it dries. Something like that. You gotta be careful with glue on foil though, you guys, because it will get onto your foil and it won't be sticky anymore and then you'll have to get the goo gone out. 
Okay, that was a little bit longer than it needed to be, so I just trimmed it off. Okay, then this is going to be popped up, and this is glued. And let's grab our mini glue dots here. Get them ready. And then we're going to do liquid glue here. Put that in. If you guys have a circle punch too, a circle punch would have worked. A quarter inch seemed too big for me. But if you had, um, I don't know, one eighth seemed too small, right? So three sixteenths was just right. But who has a three sixteenths hole punch, right? And then that goes here. This will get put over on the side here, something like so. And then you're gonna grab a couple more dimensionals to put on the side right there and there. Cause that label's gonna hang out there. And then put a little liquid glue there. And that'll catch there and it'll catch here. And we gotta trim our ends here. I did it something special with these guys. I actually, they are frayed a little bit now, but I made them look like a banner, kind of, like um, like uh, the bottom of a V. And I'll see if I can do that on here. So grab your ribbon scissors, and then we'll do the top one first, because it'll be shorter. And from the middle, I went that way, and I went that way. Ha, ha, ha. And trim it just a hair. And then this one, same thing. But we'll make it a little bit longer. And then we'll go that way. Ha! Love it. It looks more manly to me. <laughs> I don't know why. But we got it like that. It looks like a tie. Like the end of a tie. So that's what we got there. Now, Stampin' Up! Acts, like when they ship me these embellishments, they... Uh, they came all discombobulated all over the place. And so we've cleaned up the rest of this. And I, found, I see that there's one right here. I'm gonna see if we can salvage this guy. Yes, perfect. We'll put a widow one right there, there, and there. So you guys will have three of these rustic metallic dots. They are carrying over to the new annual catalog. So they are sticking around for another year, which is awesome. They're so pretty. And again, the Stella ink, right? I'm having a hard time not bringing Stella out to put her to work tonight, but I feel like it might not be as appreciated on a manly, a more manly-esque card. So there's our third card. Yay. Got her done. We'll keep her moving. We've got Team Purple now. Whoop, whoop. Team purple in the house. Okay, let's look at the card. This is the one that brings in the happy birthday from On the Ocean. Oh, I should bring the other card here. Let me show you my other sample just so you can see how we did the gems. So if you get the little rectangle gems or the little diamond gems, that's how we did it. It looks super cool coming out the bottom, like three of them it lined up like that. And then with the dots, I put two there and then one up there. So just a different way to put your embellishments. Thanks, Linda Hall. All right, you guys, be very careful. You have lots of bits and parts and tiny pieces in this one. Really, really little ones. And these are all from the set of dies here, all the little bike parts. And let's see what you have. Purplelicious is one of the bases at the bottom. You'll have your orange flame, a wheel well, a wheel, and a wheel well, a seat, and a wheel, a little strip of paper for the sentiment, the bike here, the transom, I believe. <laughs> bike solid piece here and you'll have this is that I call it the hashtag embossing folder I don't know it looks like a bunch of lines going this way and that way right so that's in the basics 3d embossing folder pack bring on the purple you got it and yay 
This and the only reason that this card is purple is <clears throat> because of this embossed piece is like a more metallic-y purple foil. So that's with the metal plate. You have your hexagon things here. So big shout out to the helpers, you guys. So Tammy Sikolik die cut all of the bike, all of the die cuts for this class was Tammy Sikolik. Like, thank you to Tammy. Karen Wetstein helped me cut all of the designer series paper for this class. So big shout out to Karen. And then Rhonda Ayers helped um, emboss all of the embossing for all these cards. She did that all. Um, this bike part was actually cut out of here. And then the other black pieces that you see here were cut out of that other mat. And then you guys, my mom cut all the ribbon for you guys. So go mom. She helps me with all the fabric related things. <laughs> and so she did the cutting of the ribbon. Um, I know Rose did almost, I think, because Rose's helpers are um, not as available this month, the helpers. So Rose did a lot of the work herself for the kidding of these cards. So go Rose, yay. <clears throat> so make sure you grab your phone folder and burnish the edge here. And what can we do first? I guess one of the things that's done here is it's hard to see it, but I did lightly sponge some gray smoky slate ink over the hashtaggy marks. So it brings it just a little bit darker so that they stand out a little bit. Yes, Cindy Runchy, thank you so much. They, they do a great job. This is the same concept we did for this card here. I'll show it to you guys again. This was from Ink Paper Scissors. So for those joining late, I showed off the cards for Ink Paper Scissors the monthly class, and let's just stamp for next month. But this is that hashtaggy embossing folder. So you can see kind of what it looks like with it embossed over the top. So if you joined in, I also showed the 3D stamp a stack. In case you guys joined in later than before, like we started doing cards, I showed off four of the next upcoming classes for May. Uh, sneaky peeks. Next week, I will be doing the showcase for the month of May. Um, we have two more classes to design for. We gotta do the catalog launch party and I shouldn't say we have to, we get to, we, we get to design <laughs> for the catalog launch party and the sweet class, which is called the countryside in. So this class next month, the sweet bundle class. <clears throat> oh, I'm so sorry. The frog is getting me. It's called countryside in. And if I think of it or somebody helps me remind me, I will run over the stamps and the papers and all that are sitting in a box on my table in the mudroom. I will, I'll run and grab it so you guys can see what our thoughts are for that class for next month in case anybody wants to see. There's two different options for that one. I think we can do a little bit of gluing. Let's, let's glue. No, let's stamp. Hang on. Let's stamp. Let's get our stamps done. Oh, thanks, Bonnie. The Daisy class, Susan Ray Hendricks, um, Okay, <clears throat> I will tell you guys, there's a little bit of a disheveling of stuff around for May just because of I'm leaving on the incentive trip on May 19th and I'm gone for two weeks, you guys. So everything that normally gets done in a month over the span of 30 days is being done in 19 days, <laughs> okay? So ink, paper, scissors for the month of May is actually May 16th. You're gonna say, well, that's date night, isn't it? And I'm gonna be like, well, Tyler and I made a deal. We're going to have date night on the 18th, which is Thursday, which is the night before we leave so that um, we don't, I don't have class the night before. We have to be up at the airport at four o'clock on the, that Friday morning. And in my younger days, like a year ago, I would have had a class <laughs> the night before I leave to go on an airplane, but that just kills me. It really does. So we're having ink, paper, scissors on the 16th. And if you guys go to my events calendar, you guys can see may looks a little bit weird um just click on the dates you're not going to break anything by clicking on dates on my calendar um just know i think i have everything out there for may now in, in terms of like the skeleton schedule or you can go to my pdf and look at it that way too the pdf is out there in the newsletter section of my website the blog and newsletter section so everything looks a little bit off kilter next month and that is because of leaving on the incentive trip which is a great um a great thing to happen. Uh, definitely looking forward to that. So the happy birthday, you guys, comes from On the Ocean. That's going to go up here. More to the top, if possible. And then on the inside, we have the, I believe, Ride On, It's Your Birthday. 
and we'll put the whole motorcycle on this one because it's the horizontal card. Give that a second to marinate and then we're gonna do the ride on. I'm gonna put it to the left more to kind of offset the bike here. You're very welcome. Thanks, Marcia Svatek, I appreciate that. I'm going with Tyler and my brother, Tom, and we are actually, um, the, the incentive trip is a cruise to Norway and we then are going to spend five days in Ireland on the back end of the trip. So yay. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of gluing, you guys, just because I think we can. I'm gonna do that. We'll do that one. We'll do this one and this thing right here. Okay, let's, let's get a little bit of glue going here. So we'll get that one going, that one, that, and I think we can do this one. Yes, let's do that. Oh, the, Angela, the incentive trip is to Norway. Uh, so we leave out of Southampton near England, uh, in England near London, so about an hour from London. We get in a day early and we're going to see Stonehenge on that Saturday. And then the next day then we leave for the cruise. So that goes here. And then this one's more near the bottom of the designer paper. So this is about 3 16 or so of an inch from the bottom. So that goes here. And then we can put our inside in over here. Yeah, it should be fun. You guys, there's a lot to get done between now and then. We launched the new annual catalog in May. So in about two weeks, not even two weeks, we launched the new catalog. I have, the, I mentioned early on that the DSP sampler, you guys, I'm going to sneak this in here now at the, oh no, I'm going to wait to do that actually. Um, this can get glued down. We have the DSP sampler. I need to know if anybody else wants to get on for that because I'm already kind of at 65 people or 64, I think I might just make 70 and that's it. It is going to be crazy. My brother is already giving me a hard time that I haven't capped it yet because in the past we've only made 48 of the mini catalog and this is of the annual catalog. So it's got six more, uh, six more like DSP families than normal. And so he's already not so excited with me, <laughs> but I'm like, you're going to, you're going on a trip with me. You can help me, right? So you guys, I put a little bit of tear and tape down in this corner and I'm gonna grab this ribbon and it's got a loop and there's plenty of ribbon here. I don't know, I think we gave you way too much, but you can use it for something else otherwise. So we're gonna do a loop, a loop, and then the tail comes out. Wow, there's a lot of extra ribbon, that's okay. So. To me, that's a lot of extra ribbon, you guys. You might be thinking that's not a lot, but I think it is <laughs> because could have cut every one of them an inch shorter. And so that's gonna get cut off like that. And now that's ready to go on here. And so I'm gonna just trim off that little bit right there. Grab your dimensionals. Stonehenge is so cool. I'm so, oh, thanks, Lynn Beasley. I really appreciate that. Definitely worked hard for it and then hopefully we can play hard <laughs> for it <laughs> for those two weeks. Sightsee lots. We've got, there's 23 things that we had on our list to do in Ireland <laughs> and I think we narrowed it down to about 10 <laughs> in five days or maybe 12, I can't remember. But we were like, we need to do all of the things. All of the things need to get done. So I think I accidentally well, it's, it's no accident. I glued that flat to the purple, but on this case, I popped that up. It's really a horse apiece. Now I'm going to put this flat then. We're going to glue this flat. You guys, can you see I'm avoiding doing the bike? <laughs> and we're going to put a little glue on that because almost to the point where all that's left is putting the bike together. So then this goes over here and it like lines up that it hits the purple, the purple, and the purple like that. Now that I have that down, I can figure out where this is going to go. And I made sure not to put glue too close to the edge because all I have to do is kind of get a little bit underneath here. And now that little bit just kind of looks like a note, like a tab on a page. So that's going to go right there. See, that was pretty simple. Now our bike. 
So let's pull in all the pieces, all of the bits and the parts. You might need to pop some things here. So Waterford Crystal is one of the things on the list and it just, oh, it seems like a lot. We like out of Dublin, we were going to go down to Waterford Crystal and then make our way up to the cliffs of Mohar, or the, 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 the cliff edge over here. We were going to go up and around and take the ferry to the three islands, the middle island, take the ferry back and then go up here to the stairway to heaven and then go up this way and then up that way and then back down to Dublin. <laughs> in in five days <laughs> and my brother did the calculation of how much driving time that was and he's like yeah we'll have like 30 minutes at each thing that we want to do and it's like oh my goodness oh it seems like stressful to me <laughs> so it's like well what can we uh, like take out and still have a really good trip right so that's like yeah it's it's there's more things on our list than we have time for and we get that so the tire the black tire goes onto the top here so i put a little bit of glue and i'm going to let that kind of marinate over here and then we have to do this again um so yeah and the waterford crystal have you guys though been there since like shut down because a lot of places that we call or like check in around here <clears throat> you can't necessarily do because like the tours aren't really operating like things got shut down and they haven't restarted yet in terms of tours right so like if it's one thing to go visit a place but you know you want to see how it works too with the touring part of it okay there's that so we got that so far like the, the tires are good what happens this transom thing it goes like this and it's the back to the bike here, that that part. And I think what I'm going to do is put a little bit of glue on these areas that are going to hit it. And get that adhered to there. And should go right like, get over here just like that. Okay, it kind of fits onto the bike like that. Got to give it a second for that glue to hit. No, we're not going to go kiss the... That has never been a thing that is like, oh man, I got to go do that. And after we've had friends that told us not to do it because... <laughs> sorry to bring this up. I'm sorry if you're from Ireland and listening. But people have told us that they pee on the Blarney Stone because all the tourists go and kiss it. So, okay, you guys. Um, recover the broadcast. So my, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I had something that told me that it had gave me an error. Um, but hopefully it keeps going. Hopefully it's going. Okay, good, good. It came up here that with an error message and I hit recover the broadcast and it's still going. So that's good. Jean, um, Tyler and Tom are the drivers. Um, they are on the car registration. Um, so, and we have a manual car. Yep that's what we got and so now this is gonna I'm gonna pop this up onto the to the bike here let's put a dimensional there and there and I'm glad I looked up at that moment and I saw that it was having an issue and we could recover it very easily you guys didn't even probably see but one little spinny circle thing all right then this is gonna go on to here something like so and the tires are gonna go on like this, right? So I didn't put a lot of glue there knowing that um, I wanna actually pop this up here and there's actually little parts. Yeah, it kept going only because I happened to look up and I hit the continue button. Luckily, I happened to look up at the video and it gave me that error message. There's little things that need to get popped. So we're gonna put dimensionals behind the wheels here. And then I'm gonna put that up in here like that. And then we're gonna put this guy up in here like that. And um, we have a seat left, we have a flame left. We're okay. I am going to put a little glue now on this little bit that hits where the middle of the bike. Ooh, that was a little bit thick. Oh well, 
it'll dry clear, hopefully. All right, and then on this side, we actually, you guys, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the flame right at the edge there. And that's coming out over here, coming out the pipes, right? So we're gonna put that down first. And then I'm gonna bend this back just a hair to help me put a little glue on here. I mean, you guys, that's this is how I'm doing this. If there's a, a different way that you found to put this bike together, kudos. Like, I'm just going at it any which way that works here. So we're gonna get that like that, that settled. We just gotta get the seat on yet. And the seat, I'm just gonna put a little bit of liquid glue along the back here, like that. And make sure I got it going the right way. I think it actually goes like this. <laughs> There's our seat, okay? So those are all the pieces you got. And that kind of sets right in line with the back of the bike. And that's our bike put together. And then what I've got here is I'm gonna pop up right underneath here. And then the rest of this, I'm gonna put liquid glue along the back and that. like we had I have it lined up that that's the road right there okay and then I'm gonna grab some silver gems again if you have the diamonds or the so the circles I put three like that but if you have the diamonds they look really cool or the rectangles they look really cool making like a burst here and one more here, like that. Okay, make sure to press these down good so the adhesive sticks. And that's what I've got for silver. Again, if you're giving this to a girl because it's very purplicious, you could definitely stella this kind of stuff. Like you could stella the seat. You could stella this back area here just to give it a little bit. And there's that. Okay. There you guys, we did it. We got all four cards done before by eight. It's just eight o'clock right now. Good deal. I hope I didn't rush you guys too much, but just know you can always catch the replay later. But we got through, isn't that one so pretty? We got through all four of the cards. And yeah, so. The last one took, I think, the longest because that bike needed lots of, how does this go? The bike need, had lots of little details to put it together. And again, you can catch the replay and start and stop it and pause it. But ultimately, you could see, I did pop the seat up on this one, and that looks cool too. But again, that's popped and the bike is popped a little bit. So I didn't necessarily need to just do more popping on the seat. But awesome sauce, you guys. All right, let's pull them all in so you can see what we've got going on. And we're gonna put this away real quick. Ah, oh, Laura loves this one, yay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, let's pull this one and then you guys can tell me which one's your favorite. I'm gonna, give me 30 seconds, you guys. I'm gonna run over and grab that countryside in. You guys can comment which one. Give me about 30 seconds. I'll run over and grab the countryside in so you guys can see what we're doing next month, okay?
Okay, I got it. I had to run up all the way upstairs. Whew. Okay, love them all, but have to pick just one. It would be purple. They are all great. Love the vanilla gold one. Yay, I love the fun fold and have not done the easel done that way before. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so next month, the suite that we're featuring is called Countryside Corners. <laughs> the, when I looked at the stamps, so I'm like, oh man, <laughs> okay. This is what we got for stamps. There's not a lot going on there, right? So the stamp set that's gonna get used with Countryside Corners is, here you guys go. You guys were asking for Tigger. Here he is, I brought him along with me, yay. Um, he was sleeping really good, <laughs> but I woke him up. <laughs> so Lasting Joy is going to be the set that gets pulled in with Countryside Corners. So definitely these flowers really match nicely and the words match nicely. So these dies are going to get used and definitely the Designer Series paper is going to be a lot of blue cards. Hi, baby. Everybody was asking about you. Well, not everybody, but here he is, guys. I know that some of you were looking for him earlier. He's really He's sleepy, <laughs> aren't you, baby? Okay, so we have here lots of blues. So the cards are, <laughs> go team blue. <laughs> They're gonna be really excited for these cards, right? So we're definitely, I, I won't be using the bunny paper. I promise that I will be using that side because it's more universal. <laughs> and um, the blues are just so pretty. This is probably a print that will get used with that blue somehow. I'll probably use that one a lot. And then this one, they're all so versatile. So just know that these cards are gonna be featuring a lot of blue. And the deal that I have, oh, Sharon says hi to Tigger, yay! The deal, and Susan says hi as well, yay! Yes, he had to come out and make a little guest appearance for you guys. Um, <laughs> He's looking at me like, Mom, why did you just wake me up? <laughs> I'm so sleepy. So here's the deal for this class. You know how if you bought the Legendary Ride Bundle as your RSVP for a class, you got the stamp set or you got the half a pack of paper. How it works for um, this one here. <laughs> Lori loves the bunny design. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> how it works for this one, how we have this, is if you buy the bundle... And the DS, um, how do I, I have to go look at it, you guys. I honestly don't remember how we did it. Hang on. If you guys look in my schedule here, it's always on the back end of my schedule. And it's hard to read it, but I'll read it. It says, order the country in suite or, so the suite is one thing, and the suite has the bundle, the paper, and something else. Oh, the embossing folder. Um, or, the, the or is here, because I know you might not like be like, oh, I like, I don't like that, right? So what I did is I put an option here, if you buy the dies, so or, the dies, so the countryside DSP, the dies and the embossing folder, along with this stamp set, you could attend any of the three classes for free, plus you get a half a pack of the Vellum Basics Designer Series paper. So that's still, the, so this will be a sweet promotion, but I gave you guys an out in case you don't want this stamp set, that you could buy this one instead with the dies, the DSP, and the embossing folder. You would still get a half a pack of the Vellum for free. And then this is definitely going to be what we're using with the class for next month. So definitely go Team Blue, right? <laughs> All right. Okay, so you could tell I was a little out of breath. I ran really fast. <laughs> um, what about the little flower? No die or punch. Um, there, I don't think that there is. There, I don't think there's a die or a punch that matches that flower that I'm aware of. I would have to look in the catalog, which I, <laughs> I don't know where my, my annual catalog is. It's over there probably, but um, all right. I, don't worry if there's any fussy cutting it won't be too excessive okay not like the motorcycles where you had a set but okay um let's do some drawings you guys oh I have here really quick too I know 
So for those that want to get going and don't want to stick around um, because you've got other things going, just know the four cards are made. Class is officially done. But I do have Happy Mail I want to share with you guys. We're going to do drawings for the Mystery Card Night, the Share, Create, Inspire, and then the free shipping. And I have another class that I want to show you that I forgot to show you earlier. So without further ado, this is going to be the Naturally Gilded class that is on the calendar for in June. Um, I have them photographed. I have the cover photo ready. I just need to put the event out there. But in case you're wondering, if you go to my extras in June, it's already listed here. Naturally Gilded stamp a stack Card Class. It's out here June 14th. So it's a little ways out, but not too early to get signed up for it. And you could read the details. You'll make 12 cards, um, four of each one. So that's why it's a stamp a stack And you're going to definitely get a little workout with your blending brushes. So it includes product. It'll include the silver and gold ribbon and some linen thread, and then the designer paper, and some blending brushes. So there's that class I wanted to share with you. Hi, baby. And then, you guys, we have here some happy mail to share with you. Yay! And Tigger wants to say hi again. He um, is on his way out, though. All right, so this one is from... Oh, hang on. <laughs> Linda Hall! I'm like, where's Linda's name on here? I didn't see it on here, but I'm like, yep, this is Linda Hall's card. So Linda, this came, I think I told you it came, and I really appreciate you sending me such a pretty card. I love it. Very ready for spring with this card. So, so pretty. All right, so, and then this is what the inside looks. And she sent me a birthday card. It's perfect, because I can always use birthday cards. So very pretty, Linda, I like that. This one comes to us from Sharon Davis. So Sharon, your card came here as well. And it says, you're the best with the blueberries on it. Yeah, very cool. And some of that, um, that, that trim that is from the In Color Orchid Opulence. All right, and some blueberries on the inside, you guys. Tigger is eating the lilies. <laughs> He's not, but... <laughs> I'm gonna definitely move these over here. Becky Gandalfo gave me these beautiful flowers, you guys. They came the other day and Tigger's obsessed with them because of how pretty they are, I think. But um, it's very bad for cats to eat lilies. So we're gonna definitely take that away from him. And this one, you guys, is from Christina Heiser. This is part of the Retro Swap Party. She did this one and she, has, she gave me the extra card and this little bunny on here. Um, I'm going to talk about this card more when I do the retro swap party cards, but I wanted to share so you guys could see that. Um, so I have a whole bucket of swap cards here that I'm going to share with you guys probably next week. This one is also from Christina. It's her swap card from the retro swap party. I'm going to save that aside and talk about that more next week. This one is from Hildale. Hildy, look at what I got from you. This purplicious queen bee card. I love it with some vellum, leaf, some vellum wings on here, very pretty. The Hues of Happiness Designer Series paper. She just wanted to say hi, a purple queen just like you. I love it. All right, you guys, he already came back for the lilies, <laughs> the lilies here. All right, and then, you guys, this one came from Miss Krista Clark from Canada. She sent me this cat card. She started watching me through Rose right after my honeybee passed away. And she wrote me this awesome love note, you guys. And it was so sweet that she sent me this card for honey. Um, it was very sweet. I love it. So she sent a beautiful sympathy card. I shared it with Tyler too, Krista. Um, I saw you on Rose's live the other day and I tried to thank you for it there as well. And then this one is from Paula Rice. <laughs> and Paula Rice sent this card to me. I sent her off a, 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 she needed a celebration catalog. So I sent that off to her. Very pretty with the rose on it. Thank you so very much. And a little knot on here with the baker's twine. So pretty, Paula. Thank you so much. And this is a swap card. These are going to go over here. Tagger. So you guys, I'm glad that he wasn't out here for whole class and I went and got him now. <laughs> this one's also a swap card. So you can get that move. Uh, this one is from Ann Miller. This is her swap card. So again, I'll share more details with these three cards um, next week when I do my swap card showcase for that. All right. And then, all right. So again, you guys, these are class cards. I'll be publishing that information soon. 
We had our happy mail that we went through. Now I think we're ready to do some drawings. Yay. Are you guys ready? Okay. Got my phone. So we have here mystery card night. Oh, I almost forgot to share with you guys mystery card night. So mystery card night um, was on Monday night. In case you missed it, you can go back and watch it whenever you want. <laughs> okay. So there's a replay out there. Um, we had 43 people that submitted cards for Mystery Carnet, which is awesome. So we'll do two door prizes. Um, I'll pull my random number generator here, and we will go ahead and see who our lucky duck winner is. Let's pull this up here, random number generator. And we had here 43 people. Drum roll. All right, so winner, winner, chicken dinner goes to, I'm gonna hit the word generate and it'll pick a number, number seven, Jill Keelblock. Yay, Jill. Oh, Tigger, are you excited for Jill? Yay. He's like, no, mom, I just wanna go back to sleep. And then I'm gonna go out and we're gonna go back in and we're gonna put on here, number 43, hit the word generate. Number 12, awesome, awesome, awesome. Darrell Hoffaker, yay, Darrell. You're the winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, so next, you guys, we had um, free shipping day yesterday. So those people who placed an order that was over $75 using the host code got in on the drawing, and there were 15 people. Yay, thank you to everybody who did orders and placed orders yesterday. I so greatly appreciate it. I have not had a moment to reach out and um, work with everybody to figure out what classes they want, or if you have emailed me, I have been... Um, either with Diane from 9.30 till about basically five today. And yesterday I was with Diane and I had classes too. So I'm very far behind since Tuesday on my emails, you guys, even maybe a little bit into Monday. So just know I will catch up. Um, so don't hesitate, you know, don't, don't think I haven't seen your email because I, I know it's out there. I just need a moment to get caught up again. So, but thank you to everybody who did place orders. I really greatly appreciate your um, support. Uh, your orders help keep me going um, and uh, being a successful demonstrator. It's awesome. I really appreciate everybody. I'm going to drop the camera down and you guys can see we're going to put in 15 and one lucky lady is going to win a stamp set out of the annual catalog. So I'm going to hit the word generate. Number eight. Vicki Rodriguez. Yay, Vicki. You can see my label didn't print your name properly, but it's there. Good job, Vicki. I appreciate it. Yay. Okay. Then you guys, we had the Share, Create, and Inspire a class that we did last week, Wednesday. So a week ago, you guys had a whole week to put your cards in and we had eight people that submitted cards. So we'll do a drawing and then I'm going to share with you guys what the two cards were for Mystery Night and the Create, the Share, Create, Inspire. So generate Number three. All right, three. Okay, well, this isn't going to work. I am going to send, so so Karen is actually in Australia. So Karen, I, and she said she likes to share. Um, I will send a card to Karen. And I think what we'll do is again, so I'll send a card to Karen as a little thank you for participating, but I will do a drawing for a prize for somebody that I can mail it to the United States. So Karen, I will, I made a note here. I'm going to send you a card. I think I should still have your address, Karen, because uh, she's won something in the past. All right. So I'm going to hit generate. Number eight is Jean Maxwell. She is a lucky duck winner because Jean won a couple things the last two weeks. So Jean, you should go buy yourself a lottery ticket. All right. So let's do one more drawing and then I'll share with you these cards. I promise I won't forget to share them with you. I got to show you guys my mystery card and I'm going to share the share, create, inspire cards one more time. But I wasn't um, proactive in writing numbers. So Millie Kindle, you're number one. Cindy is number two. Uh, Genial is number three. Laura, four. And Bonnie is five. Six goes to Vicki Rodriguez. Seven is Karen Woods. Sue Wagner is eight. Mary Lemke, you're number nine if you're still watching. Melody, you are number 10. <clears throat> Susan Ray Hendricks, <clears throat> excuse me, you're number 11. And then Marsha, if you're still watching, you're number 12. Uh, 13 goes to Becky Gandolfo. 14 is to Sue Spigner. Shirley Vanderbloomer. Um, if you're watching, I had a set of cards for you. Um, you were lucky. Somebody was canceling last night and you got her set of cards and she was more than okay with that. Uh, 15 people. All right, so let's 
bring the camera down here, you guys, and we're gonna do 15. And I'm gonna hit the word generate. It was number nine. Number nine. All right, you are not jumping up there, kitten. Number nine is Mary Lemke. Awesome sauce, Mary Lemke. I will have a door prize for you as well in your next package. So congratulations, you guys. We had Jill Kielblock, Darrell Hoffaker, Vicki Rodriguez, Jean Maxwell, and Mary Lemke. Whoop, whoop. Yay, girlies. Okay. Cards. Let's show you cards here. This was my mystery card. Thanks to Rose. Oh my gosh, Rose. I don't know if you're still watching, but I totally cased Rose's card that she did. This was pretty much the card that we did for the Technique Club class for April. I have three of those sets left and in case anybody wants to take any one of them. Uh, this I changed it just a little bit by adding a little bit different ribbon. Oh, Marsha's still here. Yay, congratulations. Oh, Marsha's still here. No, Marsha, you were in on the drawing. <laughs> I think Mary Lemke actually won it. <laughs> so, um, but this is what I did for Mystery Car Night. I also had Case Darrell Hoffaker's card here. So Darrell sent me this one. And so two different styles. I had never done a card like this before, so it was awesome. Yes, Randy says, congratulations to the winners. Yay. All right, so there's the Mystery Card Night. And then for the Share, Create, Inspire, Sandy's recipes out there, and this was Sandy's card. In case you guys missed watching this last week, it was last week, Wednesday. You can watch how we did this card. And then, well, actually, I made this one, and Sandy had made that one. So, yay. You guys, I'm so sad this paper is all gone now. Um, and then next week, Thursday, that's the class that is being featured here. This is what we're going to make next week, Thursday. It's called Rain or Shine. That is a fun fold. And we've got a fun fold there, and we have a shaker card here. Give you 30 seconds, and I bet Tigger will be over here. Um, <laughs> excited. He absolutely loves this card a lot. So I told you that. There he is. He goes ham for that card, you guys. There's something in like the little effervescent elements that he absolutely loves. Okay, baby. Um, all right. So... That is what we're, is on the docket for next week, you guys. Are these four cards next Thursday night? Okay, so we did good, you guys. I know it went over a little bit longer than normal, but we had lots of prizes to give away at the end. Um, and we got to share with you my mystery cards, all that good stuff. So, all right. I don't know if I'm necessarily forgetting anything in particular. If you guys missed watching from the beginning, <laughs> <laughs> I do have a kitten here. So he's um, very needy at the moment. And that's okay, you guys. He was alone for the last three hours or so for class. And um, and now it's okay. We're done with class. And so he's not very distracting. But I'm, I hope you guys are good. And he got a little baby up here. So and I know that a bunch of you were probably really excited to see him. So um, <laughs> we're almost done. Um, Tyler should be here pretty soon too. And we are going to do something good tonight. I don't know what, but I'm heading out of town this weekend. Um, I'm going to Indiana to watch, uh, not to watch, but my friend Jennifer is hosting an event down in Knox, Indiana all day on Saturday. And so my friend and I are going to be going down tomorrow afternoon and we are going to be staying overnight down there. And <laughs> you think you're so funny. Um, I'll be back on Sunday. Uh, we're going to spend some time making cards and it's going to be good. Uh, oh, thanks, Sharon Land. So yeah, so I'm trying to give him as much love and attention as I can before I go for a few days. So, oh, he just found the flowers again. Oh, you kitten. So, all right. <laughs> Come on. All right. Sounds good, you guys. I think that we're pretty much buttoned up here. Um, if you need anything, never hesitate to reach out. I know that a lot of people say to me, oh, you're busy. you got a lot going on. I'm not going to call her. Well, you know what? I think that will never change. That's a good thing. And that means you should always reach out to me if you need help with anything because I make time for people when they need help. So um, I was able to talk to a few different people today to help them with problems or issues that they had with getting orders in or um, signing up for classes. So uh, don't ever think that um, you can't call me or reach out to me if you need something. So uh, Marsha says, I will take one of the classes with the fun folds. Oh, Marsha, I think that you mean from yesterday, my favorite flower. So if that's what you mean, please don't hesitate to follow up with another message. I'll make sure to save one aside for you. I have I have over a half a dozen, I think. So 
Oh, thanks, Laura. Have a good evening as well. Thank goodness I ordered another Playing in the Rain pack of DSP. You are lucky, Lynn. I went to go order mine on um, Tuesday, and they were gone already. So you must have ordered yours back uh, probably last week sometime. Kathy says, he's very cute, like my cats, in the middle of everything. <laughs> that is so true. You can't control what the cat is going to do. I honestly tell you guys that is the truth. Like right now, he's sitting there very nicely in front of the window, just trying to look out for the birds, but it's dark, so he can't see them at all. <laughs> so, oh, Lori, I'm so happy you love the class. Yay. <clears throat> you guys, I got the frog here from talking, but probably not drinking enough water. So I'm going to make sure I catch up on my water. Thanks, Vicki Eakins. Um, I'm glad you like Tigger. He is definitely a sweetheart. All right, you guys. I'm going to say goodnight and um, let you guys go. I think, I think, I think, I think we got everything done for tonight. Um, and watch for some classes. I'll be working on publishing all those pictures of those classes over the next 24 to 48 hours. And once you see them and you guys want to sign up, don't hesitate to reach out and I'll get you on the class list. Yay. All right. All right, you guys, lots of sunshine, love, and hugs to you. Have a good rest of your night. Have a great weekend, whatever you end up doing. Um, oh, perfect, Marsha. <laughs> I'll make sure to get you signed up for that one. I'll see you guys the next time. Love you long time. I'm going to count to 10 because it always ends earlier than what I plan to. So I'll count to 10, and it'll probably hopefully cut out somewhere around 9 like it has been. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Thanks, Deb Norman. I'll have a great time at our event. Nine, ten, pick up six, right? Lay them straight, put them down again. All right.